Good morning. Well, uh, most of you uh, probably know our um, current situation with um, diagnosis. Uh, the, the breast cancer I had uh, back six years ago now, when I was 40, um, has come back into my bones and um, is now also in my liver, uh, now at the age of 47. So, um, so we face that and um, fully receive the Lord's healing. I, um, I have no doubt the power of my Lord. And I'm praying that you don't either. And that you are praying in faith and trusting in his goodness. Because he is good. Uh, and he is sovereign. And oh, he, he is still on his throne. And he loves me. And he has our best interest at heart. We have to trust him. We must. I will. There is no one else to trust. If he created me, us, then quite assuredly, he knows what is going on. And it is he that counts our days. Uh, not any disease. It's not. When he when I state that he is sovereign, everything bows to him. And everything will. Every knee will bow. The whole world bows to him. The whole universe. Um, this morning, I wanted to tell you what the Lord stated to me. And I thought it was lovely. And then I'm going to just finish up telling you what he stated to me when I first heard the diagnosis. So that's been about two weeks ago now. But this morning, he pointed out to me, and you know, you know this, but Sometimes he just really wants to tell you for sure. <laughs> but we know no one, you might want to sit down for this, no one has any more days assured than another. We are assured today. We, we are not assured tomorrow. We're not to think on tomorrow, worry about it. We can dream or whatever, that's great, but we we don't have tomorrow. Nobody does. So as I was telling my 10-year-old this morning, I said, you know what is really very beautiful is Somehow, I mean, I know this sounds so crazy, but he could have given me no notice. He didn't have to give me any notice. You know, no matter how many days he has allotted for me, that's the days. And a friend was telling me we are to live full in each day. And those are the days allotted for me. When my Lord withdraws my breath from this world, that's it. There's no more. And I pray that all my days have been full 
um, for his kingdom. There's really no other reason for us to live than to glorify him, declare his kingdom. So, you know, it truly is a gift of mercy. Think on that. Where the Lord is highlighted and said, All right, Landra. I, I be assured I have given you so many days and be assured that someday I will withdraw your breath from this world and I will close your eyes to it. And, you know, unless he heals me of this, which he sure, certainly can, uh, and I, I receive that, <laughs> but um, unless he does, you know, I don't know if I've got months or a year or two. I, we don't know. But what I do know is that he has said, you, you need to highlight these days. Use every day, just as you should have all along. <laughs> Use every day. Live every day. Proclaim me every day. Love on those kids every day. Assure them of your love, of my love, every day. Assure your husband of your love and my love every day. Your family, your friends. Every day. And it's like he's, he's brought it to the surface and said, all right, this is going to be a, a thick, um, focused time. Get affairs in order. And affairs, not just financial or whatever, but what do I want to tell my kids? What do I want to make sure that they know? What do I want to make sure that my husband knows? That my father and mother know? My siblings, my friends, what do I want to tell them? What do I want to make sure is in line here at the house? And please know, if he heals me, well then, hallelujah, and everything's in order, right? But this is a gift of mercy. And look what he's done. Look what he's done. Okay, so many of you have reached out to me and stated your love for me. Oh my goodness. This Lord, what a gift. Would you have thought to do that if I had not had this diagnosis? Maybe. Likely not. We just go on with life. We do. We, we forget that none of us gets out of here alive. We forget that. But this is the truth. You and I, we have the same um, lifelong expectancy as each other. Today, this is all we got. We might have tomorrow, but we'll find out in the morning. We don't know. But this gift of mercy, of preparation, I'm receiving this. I'm receiving it in full. And you, you bet I'm loving my kids and lingering with them and lingering with my husband lingering with my family. I'm noting, taking notes of things, showing them what things are. I should have been doing this all along. But God in his mercy has said, come on, let's get real. This is life. And you will live it full 
full every day, full. So I just, I want to encourage you in that. There's no need to wait for a diagnosis. If you think on it, we all have a diagnosis within us. Because we will all have a final day. So, this is what he told me two weeks ago. When I first got the diagnosis, and I was remembering the chemo, the sickness, barely living life, um, and I was distraught. But he woke me, as he does, at 3 a.m. and said, I have something to tell you. So this is what he said. During these days of trial and suffering, I am near. They are days that I give. Days. Live in each one. Don't choose to stop living based on your definition of good. Who am I? I am good. I still breathe through you. I still move through you. I still have my blood through you. The waves, wind, stars, heavens, moon, they all obey me and continue in their life cycles. Continue on and have fullness of life, not partness. Fully receive it. This is life. Walk in it. Receive it. Be glad in it. Breathe deep in it. I will not fail you. I will not fail. I will not. I. I am with you. You will never No life, no life. Do not look with your physical eyes, but the eyes that proclaim my life, my light. Live, live, live each moment. Live. I declare your life good. Honor my declaration and live. I'm going to. I'm going to. And I'm going to tell those kids out there too. And my husband. And we will live every day as full as possible until the Lord says, under his command, not any disease's command, under his command, it's time to take your breath away. I receive that. And I'm going to live in it. I pray you live in your life, too. Please live.